back method gang what's up guys we back with another video this video is going to be on how to lean bulk yes i've lean bulk my journey i started off at 150 150 pounds i'm 178 pounds now that's 28 pounds and i'm not fat i'm not overweight i'm not i'm shredded i'm always shredded all year round all year round i always i'm always ready bro I'm fit, I'm athletic, so it's definitely possible. I never bulked and then cut. I've always just main gained or lean bulk, whatever you want to call it. So this is the guide on how I did it and how you could probably do it too. This is for skinny people, obviously. I never, I've never been fat, so I wouldn't really, this isn't about losing weight. This is about gaining uh, quality weight, like muscle. So... Yeah, that's me. The left is me, bro. And the right is also me. As you can see, I told you I packed on 28 pounds. And clearly it was quality uh, weight because I still got the six pack. Chest is fuller. Although I do got to work on my chest more. That's one of the things I hate. I hate working chest, but my chest is fuller. Shoulders, way bigger. Traps, tricep, arms, forearm, everything, dude. Every single thing got bigger. And I'm still cut and, and vascular. That's, I never wanted to be fat and just be big and, and not have any cut. I always wanted to stay cut and shredded, so this is what I had to do. On the left, this was me flexing my hardest, like... This was me flexing so hard to the point where I almost passed out. And you know what's so funny about this picture? Is I sent this to a girl <laughs> in the weight room when I was after, uh, was it, I, I want to say it was either after gym class or after track when I went to the weight room and started working out. I was flexing so hard I almost passed out, bro. Literally. I was pulling down my, sh my, uh, Stomach to try to make the abs more popular. I was trying everything. And at the time, this was good. Like, because I was getting cut. Well, I was already cut because I was skinny. But I was putting on a little muscle. So I looked good. You know what I mean? But when I look back, I'm like, wow. People were calling me jacked back then. In reality, I was like a toothpick. But I was kind of cut, you know, because I started working out. But now, I will take the, the I'm jacked. Right. So anyways, it's all about being consistent. It's all about not stopping. I've been doing this for six years. I don't plan on stopping ever. So, um, yeah, the journey never ends and I, it gets better if you are consistent and you take it serious. So health is wealth. You are what you eat. We all know this. Eggs, chicken, rice, avocado. I say that because that is one of the best things you can eat brown rice preferably white rice is fine especially if you're trying to gain weight but again this is for people trying to gain weight you got to eat a lot but you want to eat quality foods you don't want to just um dirty bulk and eat garbage and just try to gain weight you could but it's it's better if you do it the right way i'm not saying you can never eat anything bad because obviously i still eat things that aren't healthy but for the most part you want to keep it clean this is a clean combo right here. What the heck is this? This is a clean combo right here. I don't drink juice. I quit. I haven't drank juice or soda in four years. Actually, longer. Than, it's been like five years, bro, since I've drank juice or soda. Literally. Um, I don't eat chips. I don't eat candy like that. I do have my vices, Oreos. Twix, I, I eat that, bro. I can't even lie. But do I eat it like how I used to? Absolutely not. No way. No way. But, you know, I obviously eat. Sometimes I eat unhealthy. It's in, you know. But for the most part, 80% of the time, I wouldn't say not 85% of the time, I'm eating good. I don't drink alcohol, obviously, at all. Yes, I've drank alcohol before in the past. 
98 percent of the time i don't drink alcohol at all um it's horrible for you it's literally you're drinking poison i'm not saying you can't ever drink but beers no absolutely not even regular alcohol absolutely not i, I just don't drink bro i just don't once in a blue moon, literally once in a blue moon. I'm not talking about once in a blue moon, which is every, like, two weeks. I'm talking about months, like, six, seven, eight months. I don't drink. It could be a year. I, I, it's just, it's not. I don't care about alcohol. I don't like it. Once in a while, you know, it's fun or whatever, but that's it. I pretty much only drink water, for the most part, besides protein shakes and, uh, you know, a Gatorade or some sort of energy drink not monster or red bull or anything like that by energy drink i mean like a pre-workout or something during a workout sometimes and steak why i put steak is because steak is amazing steak will get you the calories will get you the protein will get you the fat will get you the everything eat steak eat rice eat chicken eat avocado and just keep eating that over and over and over and over again i don't get tired i can eat the same food every single day of my life if it's good then i can eat it Oh, and eat eggs. That's like literally... Eggs is basically like steroids, bro. It's one of the best things you could ever eat. It's packed with protein. It's packed with nutrients. It's like... It's the, the best. Buy farmer eggs, though. Buy like the organic farmer, all that type of eggs. And food in general. Eat more. You have to eat more. I always thought that I was eating enough. And I would complain as to, oh, I'm not gaining weight. But it's because I'm not eating more. Dude, if you eat more calories than what you normally eat, you're going to gain weight. It's just what it is. There's no other way around it. You have to eat more calories. If you think, oh, well, I eat a lot, you're not eating enough to gain weight. You might think you're eating enough, but you're not because you're not gaining weight. That was my mistake. I was like, why am I not gaining? Why am I not gaining? It's because I wasn't eating enough. How do I eat more? You just drink water with the food you eat. If you can't even do that or if you're still not, you got to drink protein. You got to you got to drink protein shakes. You got to you just got to consume more. Whatever is cal calorically dense, whatever has more calories, whatever. Find a way to bring down the food you will gain weight. It's impossible to not gain weight if you're eating more. Uh you're not going to get fat if you're not eating pure garbage and if you're working out and doing cardio. That's just what it is. Look at me. I've had my six pack since I was skinny and had the skinny man six packs, and now I'm shredded and have the yeah I'm Jack six pack, twenty eight pounds, and I'm not fat at all, dude, at all. I'm like ten percent body fat. I don't know how much body fat I am, but I I look like I'm ten percent body fat, so I'm gonna say I'm ten percent. Full body king. I preach this all the time, and I will never stop preaching it because this is just what I do. A jack of all trades is the master of none. Though often better than the master of one. People never finish that quote or that saying. They always say the jack of, jack of all trees is the master of none. And then they cut it. But they never add the, the part that it's better than the master of one. Usually. When it comes to fitness at least. Full body every day. I do full body every single day of my life. And I work out pretty much every. Actually I work out every day of my life. Now I'm not saying full blown two hour workouts every day. But I do work out every single day. And it's full body every single day. What I do is I pick a muscle group that I'm going to focus on for each day. But I still do everything else. For instance, Mondays, I'm just going to say I'm going to focus more on legs. I'm still going to do my arms. I'm still going to do chest, back. Mostly compound movements just to do, hit those muscles. I'm not going to spend isolations on every single muscle group, dude. I would be in the gym for like five hours. I'm obviously talking about I'm hitting compound movements, mixing in some isolation to hit muscles that is hard to hit with some compound movements. And then I focus more on the muscle group I pick. So on Monday, if I pick legs, I'm doing more legs, but I'm also doing everything else. Say tomorrow uh, on Tuesday, I do back. OK, I'm doing back more. I'm focusing more on back, but I'm also going to hit everything else. Wednesday, I want to do uh, buys and tries. Okay, I do that, but I'm also doing everything else. So you just I just figured out a way to hit every muscle because I believe in blood flow. Blood flow is key. And this is just how I train. I feel like I'm more athletic this way. I feel like I function better this way. I feel like 
I perform good this way. I'm not muscle bound. I'm always free flowing. I'm, I can move. I'm athletic. You know what I mean? So, and I jump rope every single day. Every single day I jump rope. Anyways, compound movements. Bench, squat, pull up, dip, uh, lunges, rows, anything that targets multiple muscles, do those movements, especially if you're skinny. Well, anyway, you should do this no matter where you are in fitness, but especially if you're skinny, dude. If you're a swig, I'm telling you this is the best way you're going to see results. Don't just do isolations and think doing bicep curls is going to... No, dude. No. I'm not saying don't do that, but you got to bench. You got to do squat. You got to do uh, pull-ups. You got to do push-ups. You got to do things that hit a lot of your muscle groups at the same time. This is the way you're going to you're gonna start packing on size fast, dude. Fast. And then uh, work on, you know, add more isolations when you advance. But um, mostly you want to be doing compound movements. I, people might say differently, but no, dude. I believe that wholeheartedly. Lift heavy. Obviously, lift within what you can lift, but you always want to lift heavier because you get bigger you want to be in that rough range of like five to seven or whatever and then just try to lift heavier don't injure yourself of course but once you lift heavier it just you'll grow faster you know what i mean cardio won't make you skinny a lot of people think for some reason if you do any type of cardio you're gonna lose all your <laughs> muscle mass and you're gonna get skinny Dude, no, I've done cardio my entire life. Even when I've been when I've been gaining weight, I've never like I'm you're not skinny, dude. You're not gonna be skinny. If you're eating enough, you're not gonna be skinny. If anything, it's gonna help you. You're gonna be more athletic. Your heart rate's gonna be better, your heart is gonna be better. You're just gonna have more energy, you're gonna be uh more stamina, you're gonna have more stamina, you're gonna be more shredded. It's just do cardio. Like, I don't even have to explain that. Don't sleep when you're dead. Um, Yeah, you need rest. Like, me, I wish I took the sleeping more seriously when I started because I wasn't. I'm going to be honest. I stayed up. I would stay. I would literally stay up. I was, like, the biggest gamer of all time, bro. I would stay up since. Um, It would be, like, 10 in the morning till, like, 7 a.m. the next morning. <laughs> like, dude, I barely slept. I'm talking to three hours, four hours sleep every day. It was horrible. School nights, I would barely sleep. Like, I would never sleep. That's probably why it took me so long to even get gains in the first place, because I barely slept. I, I trained, I ate, but I barely slept. And what I realized is you won't recover. Your muscles won't grow. How is it going to grow if you're not giving it time to recover? It just doesn't work. Um, so take that seriously. And even this isn't even about growing or whatever. If you want to like just feel better in general and just not feel like lethargic and just horrible every day and develop like sleep apnea and all these problems, you just sleep for seven to eight hours, at least six hours and a half. Like now I sleep for six hours and a half at least. Um, that's that's pretty much like I like sleeping for six hours and a half. I feel like that works best for me because I realize that when I sleep six hours and a half to seven hours, I actually wake up energized. If I sleep eight hours or more, I don't feel energized. So for me, that's what works. Find how, you know, the length, um, the amount of time it's good for you to sleep. Also, if you don't sleep, you have an increased chance of injury. If your muscles aren't recovered and you're not in the right, if your body isn't healed, how are, do you expect not to get injured? I'm lucky I didn't get injured. I don't know how I haven't gotten injured, but recently I've been getting kind of injured. Not really, but but either way, just sleep, bro. Like You need sleep. And that's pretty much it. This concludes. This is a brief summary on what I did. It's. I'll recap it. It's you versus you. This was me. This was me, dude. This was me. 
And now this is me. People ask me, am I on steroids? No, I'm 100% natural. I'm not on steroids. This is a reasonable transformation within the time span that I've been working out, which is now like six years. Again, health is wealth. Try to eat healthy. Try to get in protein. No alcohol, no chips, no chips, no juice, none of that candy. Especially if you're, you know, if you're trying to be serious, you're going to have to sacrifice some things to achieve this. You know what I mean? Eat more. You're going to have to eat more. If you're skinny, you're not eating enough, bro. I know because I wasn't eating enough. You know you're not eating enough. You have to force yourself to eat. It doesn't matter if you're full. Drink water while you eat. Drink more protein. Just eat more. You just got to eat more. It's just what it is. You're never going to gain weight if you don't eat more. Clearly, I started eating more. Full body king, like I said. Compound movements. I don't care what anyone says. It's the best thing you can do. Fastest way you're going to see results. Fastest way you're going to get in shape. Especially when you're a beginner to newbie gains. Come on, bro. Compound movements. Of course, you're going to do isolations. But even now, even now, I still do mad compound movement. So... Hey, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. But I'm telling you, it worked for me, clearly. And yeah, so, and obviously, you need sleep. Just sleep. So that's going to be it for this video. A brief uh, overview on what I did, how I lean bulked. I try to make this as simple as possible. I didn't want to make this super complex or complicated. Anyone could do this. I did it. There's millions of people that have done this. Look on YouTube, workouts, look on what what do I eat. Just basically the key points of this is compound movements, sleep, make you let your body rest when you sleep. Um, eat more and stay consistent. That's pretty much sums it up. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for the support recently. And uh yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.